The first time I was a parent of him having any awareness of beauty was at the age of three and a half. He was three and a half in the car and he turned and he said, Mummy, what a beautiful view. And uh, I just thought it was incredible at that age to be aware of beauty. Well, I think by the time he was 10 or 12, he was showing considerable artistic ability. Mm -hmm. I have always, since I remember, had a, a love affair with flowers. When I was about 12, I saw an episode of Upstairs Downstairs where um, Edward VII was coming to dinner and they decorated this long table um, and I'd never seen anything like it and it was so beautiful and I just thought, I want to do that. I want to bring back the, the romance, the beauty of that age. From then on, I, I knew exactly what I wanted to do. The lovely thing about with Paul is that he is very particular. And in this business, certainly the clients that Paul serve, that it's got to be right. I'm the creative director here at the Nichols Group, and I'm always looking for creativity, sort of above and beyond. And Paul never disappoints me. I, th I think that I'm right in saying that I could recognise a Paul Thomas arrangement wherever I was if I went as I was the other side of the world. If they have a lot of taste and they want to have something wow, then Paul's the right person for that. I have been working with Paul for years and years and years. He, he just had the initiative right at the beginning just to write to Lady Poolbrook and say, I, you know, I want to work in your shop. And uh, she interviewed him and uh, said, you know, I don't think you're right for this sort of work, Paul. You should go and see Kenneth Turner. With a big space like this, the most important thing is, is to warm it up. This half was for the drinks party and that half was for the dinner. And it had to have a very different feeling. One area very contemporary, another area very traditional. It wasn't about flowers particularly, but about trees, wood, leaves, moss, fruits, vegetables. It's not just flowers. As equally as important as the decoration is the lighting. So it's very much a team effort. The way that Paul um, has been able to showcase the best of what we have um, in terms of our interior designs in the hotel uh, makes his style unique. From very modern to incredibly lavish, he's done everything and never ceases to amaze me, really. He knows the apartment very, very well. And, you know, he goes out each week and chooses the flowers for each location um, in the apartment. When I first saw this room, my eyes lit up. It's a florist's dream. It pretty much tells you what it wants. It's ostentatious and lavish. The impact he has with his flowers are that he is a perfectionist. And he has the vision to do different styles. The flowers are outstanding, the colours and the designs, and he always does something different for each event too. Lady Elizabeth basically said that when they were walking around the venue with the Queen, that she looked at one of the large groups and said she recognised the touch. And that must have been like a really amazing feeling for Paul to think that, that the Queen herself recognises his work. It's uh, a very theatrical entrance. It really can be completely over the top. Or you can go very much with the Art Deco style of the hotel. Um, I find it such an inspiring space and every time I come here I think of new ways to decorate it. I've used it in all manner of ways. You can um, dress it in a very elaborate way, it's like dressing down all the pillars with flowers, huge urns in the middle, you put trees all the way around it. One of my fonder memories of, of, of working with him was over the Queen Mother's birthday, well actually it was the Queen Mother's 100th birthday, Princess Margaret's 70th. Duke of York's 40th and Princess Anne's 50th. And the Queen very kindly gave me access to the Savile Gardens. Paul had been doing a function in the Dorchester. I mean, it was something like I've never seen. You could see the passion in his floristry totally. But I just remember I went to go and see him with a client and we walked out and she instantly said, he's a religious man, isn't he? And I, and I happened to know that he was. Just that he seems to create such beautiful things. <laughs> which uh, I love, of course. I still have much ambition. I still have um, 
a burning desire to do more. Just always looking for those challenges. Um, and the rest we will just have to see. Happy anniversary, Paul. Congratulations on the first 21 years. A massive congratulations to you. I love working with you. I think your flowers are incredible. I just hope that you go from strength to strength. I love that I know that everything you do will be perfect uh, and I hope we have many, many more years uh, of working together. I'm certainly privileged to have been a part of what two thirds of, uh, of Paul Thomas' existence. First of all, congratulations, Paul, and secondly, um, I'm really happy that we share the same anniversary. I'm sure if you enjoy working as much as you seem to, and you will soon catch up with me who also enjoys working like this, and it will soon be your 50th. Congratulations, Uncle Paul, for your 21st anniversary. Here's the next 10, 21 years, and um, we love being there. Congratulations, uh, Paul. Um, your mum is very proud of you. Yes, congratulations from me and my pride as well. Thank <laughs> you.